Hey guys, Lost here. Hope it's going well. I know I know I haven't posted a lot of videos recently. However, I will take some time on this fine Saturday afternoon to go over a mod that I know pretty well in Arma. Now, I am not reviewing this mod or talking about it just for the sake of talking about it. There have actually been quite a few very impressive updates with this mod. It is a very well-known mod. It was actually the number one mod in my top 10 countdown for this last year. So without further ado, this is the Unsung Vietnam War mod. So let's talk a little bit about the history of this mod. I first reviewed it when it was in its beta stage, and it has gone through about four stages of development since then, however, don't quote me on that. However, this mod was created far before I reviewed it, all the way back in 2003, 14 years ago with Operation Flashpoint. That's right, as far as I know, this is the oldest mod in the Arma community that is still going strong. That feat alone is extremely impressive. After being developed for some time and gone through multiple ports, it is now officially able to be downloaded on Steam. It is about a 7.5 gigabyte download, over 12 gigabytes uncompressed. It is a very large mod, but it has a lot of content, and I think it is well worth the space. Now let's talk about what is actually made up in this mod because that is obviously what we're here for and the most important stuff. When I first reviewed this mod, I think it had two maps. Well, now it has 13 large and fully detailed maps. When it comes to weapons, there are over 100 authentic weapons from that time period, from the AK-47s to M16s, even to more unconventional weapons that weren't really seen as much as you might think. There are dozens, and I mean dozens, of different vehicles that you can use. There are jeeps and trucks on both sides. There are also a full assortment of river vehicles because those were extremely important in that war. There are also 30 different types of static weaponry, including artillery, anti-air, mortars. If it was used in the Vietnam War, chances are it is in this mod. So we'll just keep going down the list here. There are also aircraft that can be used. Authentic time period aircraft can be seen in this mod and it is truly mind boggling. By the way, all of these weapons and these vehicles and aircraft of all these different kinds belong to over 15 factions that are also included in this mod. Yeah, that's right, 15 from the US Army, the USMC, the Viet Cong, the NVA, Australia, New Zealand. That's not even all of them. Those are just some of them I listed off. It's so cool how many things were actually put into this mod and all of the little details. And by far one of my favorite parts of this mod is the over 1,000 uniforms and individual pieces of gear that can be equipped on your soldier no matter what side you want to fight on. And if you don't believe me here, well let's go take a look in the virtual arsenal. So what you're looking at here is just the uniform category. As you can see, there are lots of them. Each one belongs to one of the 15 factions. Some of them are extremely different. Some of them are only slightly different, maybe with a different insignia or sigil on the shoulder. Either way, it makes so your soldier is completely customizable and you can look however you want if you want to save it for a loadout, if you're going to go play in multiplayer or something. Super cool, super interesting, and there's so many details. On the left, now you can see all of the different types of unique weaponry from that time period. Extremely impressive. Like I said earlier, this mod has been in production for 14 years. It has been continuously worked on, changed, enhanced, and upgraded so that all these little details are in the mod and can be played in Armor 3. So moving on now to the vehicle portion, I'm just kind of going to go through a quick overview of each one of these. These are some of the planes you're looking at. These jets are accurate to the time period. You would probably see these in Vietnam in the 60s and 70s. Here are some of the vehicles. There are a lot of tanks, lots of heavy machinery. I know there's like a modern guy sitting on the top. Kind of ruins my immersion, but we will ignore him for now. I think it's pretty cool to see all these different variations of machinery and tanks that you can play with this mod. Clearly one of my favorite tanks in this mod are these wacky looking bush tanks with all the shrubbery on them. I think that's pretty cool. That's just me though. And we will finish off this little vehicle showcase with some of the helicopters. If you didn't know, during that era, during that war, helicopters were extremely important since planes couldn't always land and take off where they wanted to. So as a result, helicopters were used a lot when it came to transporting wounded or just transporting soldiers and materials in general. Just taking a look, you can really see all of the details and all of the work that was put into these helicopters. Oh, did I say that we were done with the helicopters? Well, I was just joshing you. Here are some of the boats that this mod adds in. Similar in style to the helicopters, these boats were extremely important when it came to warfare in the jungles of Vietnam and in the area. They even added fishermen boats for the Vietnamese, you know, because immersion. So as you can see, there is a lot of content in this mod and I haven't even gotten to any of the maps yet. 
you know, during monthly mod reviews, I'll usually review about one or two maps in the list. Well, there's like 14 maps in this mod to review, guys, so there's way too many for me to do at the moment. I know this is a pretty rough, a pretty quick overview of this mod, but I really wanted to get this out there. This truly is one of the oldest and largest mods in Arma history. The amount of work that has been put into it since I first reviewed it well over a year ago is truly impressive and I'm so glad to see that there are people in the community that are willing to put this much effort simply into a mod for a couple of games. But anyway, we are getting to the end here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I haven't been posting videos lately. I've been extremely busy. But anyway, subscribe for more content like this. I will see you guys later.